It is the story that has everyone talking tonight, and you saw it first here on KXLY4. Former Spokane police officer Carl Thompson is a free man tonight, released this morning from a federal prison in Arizona. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. It was the event that gave Spokane police a bad reputation, and like a black eye, has been very slow to heal. The images of Officer Carl Thompson clubbing Otto Zem inside a Division Street convenience store back in 2006 has haunted Zem's family and a lot of people who wear a badge for living. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey broke the story on his Twitter account. He joins us now live at the Public Safety Building. And Jeff, officers, they're learning of Thompson's release from a photograph. Nadine is actually a picture of a smiling Carl Thompson after he was released from a federal prison in Arizona this morning. There are a lot of people around here, the public safety building, happy that this now 68 year old cop has done his time and getting back with his family. However, the majority of officers that I speak with on a regular basis believe that Carl Thompson did use excessive force against Otto Zem and they understand why he had to be punished. Carl Thompson was released from this federal prison this morning after his good behavior shaved five months off his 51-month sentence. Gangs of Life Force Horses say Thompson will now be under house arrest until late July at a private residence in Boise. I don't think it's easy time. The sentence was in the mid-range for the crimes he was convicted of. Release is, is important, natural, expected. Attorney Jeffrey Feiner represented Otto Zem's estate in a wrongful death lawsuit filed against the city of Spokane. Feiner is okay with Thompson's release on parole. He'll have some community supervision time, but that chapter's closing. The chapter that can't close, that mustn't close, is what we learned from that case. Thompson was convicted of using excessive force and then lying about what happened when he confronted Otto Zem inside a Division Street zip trip back in 2006. Thompson thought he was going after a strong armed robbery suspect but ended up clubbing an innocent man who later died of injuries unrelated to the baton strikes. Zem didn't comply with Thompson's orders in part because he hadn't done anything wrong, but also because Zem suffered from diminished mental capacity. I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! As a result of Zem's death, the police department implemented crisis intervention training for all of its officers. Because of that training, now our police can better recognize if they're dealing with a criminal or just someone having mental health problems. There have been myriad lessons from this whole episode with Auto Zem. One of them was CIT training helps. Crisis interve intervention training helps officers avoid risks to themselves, reduces injuries to the police force, reduces injuries to the public. CIT training is really gold standard. And Feiner says as a result of that CIT training, people with loved ones who suffer from mental illness can now more confidently call the Spokane Police Department, knowing that it's more likely those patients will be helped instead of hurt. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.